basically swampland. And my grandfather built this, which was like unheard of. It was a three-story building right at where um, Veterans and Causeway are. When you walk into Cynthia Lee Shang's office in the Joe Yenny building, your eyes are easily drawn to the iconic photos that decorate the walls and shelves. She proudly grabs one of the oldest pictures, her grandfather's restaurant, the House of Lee, which first opened in 1959. A lot of people in our area, this is their first taste of Chinese food. But he came over as, a, as an immigrant, not speaking the language here, and really was a businessman. From an immigrant family who came to America in 1917 to president of Jefferson Parish in 2021. <laughs> Cynthia Lee Shang knows by all accounts that she is a pioneer. It is certainly it was a historic event on the night that I got elected. But making history wasn't quite on her mind when she decided to run for office. I love the work. You know, the work is what gives me the energy. It was her love for the community that motivated this progressive leader. She says when you're passionate about something, you will naturally build a legacy. And the number of people on the campaign trail who would say, you would be the first woman parish president, you know, in Jefferson Parish. And I saw it through their eyes more than my own. I've had people because you see, in her eyes, there's just a lot of work to do. And that's always been her focus. So she doesn't let distractions get in the way. I'm not looking for discrimination. I'm not looking for, you know, I just keep moving on. It's one of many life lessons she learned from her late father, Sheriff Harry Lee. My dad put up that flag. Um, yeah, my dad put it up. We have a big anniversary for that flag. The popular sheriff was re-elected six times, having served 28 years in Jefferson Parish. Known for being larger than life, he died of leukemia in 2007. He just threw his big arms around everybody and just mashed them all together. And that's why, you know, a lot of people, he really enhanced a lot of people's lives. The last six months of his life, when he was diagnosed with leukemia, he most inspired me and in how brave he was in facing, you know, the last chapter of his life. And it just knocked my socks off, just his, his bravery. Seven years later, the single mother of two would need that bravery when her husband, Stuart Shane, died of a heart attack at the age of 47. It was earth shattering, you know. Um, it was uh, a, a, the worst time in my life. When you first become a widow, life is so dark and so extreme that you don't ever think you'll see a way out of it. What I always say to new widows is, look at me, like it's not always this dark. Look at my kids, like you will survive. Her kids are now in college at LSU. Gavin is 21 and Miranda is 18. I'm most proud of my children and that we had such a tragedy in our lives. I'm proud of the fact that I let them see me cry I let them see me at my lowest point. She would like to encourage widows, mothers, and young women that life is not always perfect. There are good times and bad times. So live your dream and grab a hold of every opportunity. Don't wait for permission to blossom. Just, you know, blossom. That's what I would say to a young girl. And this picture of Shang as a young girl is one that stands out the most in her office. This was the first campaign in 1979. Glimpse of the past for this forward thinking leader, a visionary who hopes her legacy is one of progress and a better tomorrow for women of all ages. This next generation, I look at my daughter's generation, I'm so excited for them and they're gonna be in the way they just approach things is that they can do anything and I want that for them.